back to a pick a card reading on my channel. This is Mouse and today we're going to be doing a monthly prediction for May 2019. So open up your minds, open up your heart and be ready to receive your messages. This is going to be card one, two, and three. Remember, this is a general reading, and it's pretty much going to be whatever my spirit guides pick up and whatever messages the universe feels like you need. If none of this makes sense, try not to think about it too much. It may not make sense right now, or it's probably just not for you. So, if this does resonate with you, please feel free to write in the comments below and share your experience with us. Alright, so we're going to start with pile number one. Pile number one. Let's see what the month of May 2019 has for you. So, the overall impression that I'm getting for you guys for card pile number one is you guys are going through a huge shift right now. It seems like you guys are going through a lot with the Wheel of Fortune towards the beginning of the month. I feel like things are starting to become in motion. Of course, nothing makes sense right now, but things are in motion. Just remember that. Towards the beginning of the month, things are starting to go into motion. That's probably when you're going to start experiencing these new changes. If things were normal before and all of a sudden things are going to change, um, maybe you lost your job recently, maybe you're changing careers, you have a new opportunity. It doesn't make sense right now. But don't worry, it's all happening with divine timing. Nothing happens without a good reason. So just know that it's the, the universe working in your favor and things are starting to spin around for you. You've been asking for this. So it's going to start towards the beginning of May. Um, for the second week of May... I feel like you've been harboring a lot of thoughts. You've been thinking about a lot of things. You've been... It sounds like you've been holding too many thoughts and you've been like a ticking time bomb where you've been harboring so many thoughts and emotions that now they're trickling out of you to the point where you may be saying mean things. Um, so just be very mindful with the words that you're saying and that you speak your truth. But be very mindful on how you speak it because you may end up becoming that person that looks like the bad guy. And in reality, you're not. You've just been holding in so much stuff, possibly even resentment. And you're just taking your bags and going, basically. And... It's it's part of the process right now for you, so just be mindful, meditate, and make sure that you don't say anything mean to anybody, and most importantly, don't say anything mean to yourself. I'm picking up that there needs to be emotional balance for you, especially towards the end of the month. That's when you're going to start realizing that all these changes are happening for a reason. You don't know where, why it's happening, but all you know is that you need to find yourself in a place where you're, you're finding an equilibrium between your mind and your thoughts and your passions and where you want to go in life. I feel like right now nothing is going to really make sense to you, but that's fine because right now you're being pretty much forced into 
going back into yourself and healing some wounds that you've been dealing with for a long, long time. Maybe you've been in a, a really terrible job for a while. Now you're getting out of it. Or maybe you're getting out of a relationship and now you're trying to heal. So I feel like there's a lot of healing to be done, especially you'll start to come to that realization towards the end of the month. I feel that's when you're really going to start getting in tune with your emotions and start to question yourself like why this why me why did this happen i'm feeling like a lot of you are leaving relationships a lot of you are leaving jobs and a lot of you are leaving mindsets old mindsets old belief systems that are making you question yourself making you question everything around you and you're starting to actually start to dive in um, this would be a great time to meditate. Analyze your thoughts, but don't analyze them too much. Just let your mind roam free and just observe your thoughts. This is a time where you need, you're starting to co go into a healing process, which is a good thing. Um, you know, a lot of times if you want growth in your life, it doesn't come easy. It doesn't just happen right away for all of us. Sometimes we have to do some work and a lot of times it's inner work because if not we end up in vicious cycles. So for you, pile number three, don't worry. You're just hang in there. Be careful with your thoughts, sort them out and try not to make any major decisions at this moment because right now this is not a time for you to make major decisions. This is a time for you to heal. This is a time for you to really let things go and really start to think about what you really, really, really want with yourself. What you, wh How do you imagine yourself as a person emotionally? This is a new, new beginning for you. The healing is starting now. So I'm going to conclude your reading. Um, so, but I do want to leave you guys with the thought that all is not lost. I promise you that a new door is going to open, but it's not going to open up so fast until you start doing your inner work. With that being said, I love you guys. I hope that this is helpful. Um, stay tuned for more readings. And if you like this video, Please subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more. Toodles! Pile number two, welcome to your pick a card reading, all signs. So let's see what the month of May 2019 has for you. Okay. All right. So, the overall feeling that I'm getting from your spread is that you are seeking something new. You feel it. You feel it inside yourself. You know that something's going to be coming in for you. And it's probably already happening for some of you. For some of you, I feel like it's just a feeling inside of you that is trying to come out and it still hasn't come out. You'll start becoming aware of it towards the beginning of May. Um, your inner self, your spiritual guardians are telling you that it's time. It's time to make that move that you've been wanting to make. It's time to treat yourself and travel. I'm getting a lot of travel for a lot of you guys. Um, I'm also getting a lot of anxiety because you guys want to get out but aren't necessarily sure what to do at this time. I feel like you're thinking about too much of what's going on in your everyday life at this moment. And it's becoming a burden for you. This is going to be more towards the second week of May where you're going to kind of overanalyze the situation a little bit and that's fine it's normal um towards the end of may i'm feeling like you're gonna actually 
feel more optimistic about the situation. I mean, it is a huge step. It is a lot. You do have to make some changes. Just moving some things around in your life to make it possible. You know you want to do it. Just do it. Just do it. I'm actually in a similar, pla a similar place right now. Um, it's kind of like you want to do something, but there's still things getting in the way, such as finances, jobs. Um, maybe you have a family, you have children, and it's it's kind of difficult to do it. So it's kind of, it's more of you not so much of why you can't do it. It's more of like there's so many things that you have to do before you can do it. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's happening, girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever you are. It's happening. And towards the end of May, I feel like you are going to feel more optimistic about it because things are going to start falling into place. There's no reason why you won't be able to do this. And it's not just travel. I feel like you're, you're seeking a new part of you and a new state of mind for some of you too. Some of you is for travel. Um, a lot of you is a new state of mind. You feel like you've had so much anxiety about the world and your situation and you're living this life that's not yours. But at the same time, you feel really optimistic about making these changes. It's, the question is how? Um, my best advice will be take it one step at a time. I suggest you to go into nature and start exploring nature first before, you know, if you have kids, go out in nature with them, or if you can get a babysitter, go out and get some new time and start absorbing those energies so you can start moving them around all of Overall, I feel like this has to do with you becoming a new you emotionally on a men on a emotional level. You are transforming into a new energy, a more positive energy, and this part of you is asking you to get out of your comfort zone and start exploring new territory so that you can emotionally recharge yourself. And once you do, even if it's the smallest bit, you will thank yourself. I'm getting here a lot that you guys should meditate. Spend a little bit more meditation outside of your home. Um, start absorbing new energies because this is going to help you move that energy so you can start taking that new step. And if you're not exactly aware of what you need to do, I would suggest just do that and eventually you will figure it out one step at a time I promise it's all gonna be nice and dandy so overall I think that the month of May for you pile number two is gonna be a very healing one you're already gonna be in your healing state um, though anxiety and everything towards the beginning of the month or what's more like beginning and middle of the month don't worry it's only temporary and you will regain your strength again. It's just a matter of getting yourself out of your comfort zone and healing, releasing yourself. Don't pent up all those thoughts anymore. Let go of those thoughts. Stop thinking so much and allow your, your emotions to flow even if they're negative. Even if you want to cry, just cry. Cry it all out. So that will conclude your reading. Don't forget to press that like button if this recited with you or if you overall enjoyed your reading. And stay tuned for more. Love you. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your pick a card reading. So let's see what is going on for you for the month of May 2019. All right, so this is an amazing spread because I feel like there's going to be a lot of events coming in for you, especially for the beginning of May 2019, the first week. I feel like you're going to be sharing a lot of good times with new people and with familiar people. A lot of events. I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional connections, so possibly even reunions. Um, towards 
the middle to the beginning of May, I feel like you're going to be coming into new ideas. You're going to have new ideas of what you want to do and where you want to go. You're, there's This month, you're going to be very, very active. You're going to be very active. You're going to have a lot of ideas and you're going to want to act on them almost right away. And you're going to have that ability to do it because you already have what you need. The energies are wor already working in your favor in order to make these actions, these plans go into action almost right away. Towards the end of the month, I feel like you will need to take some time for yourself because all the all this moving and all this all these events and all this action you're doing is actually going to take a toll on you for a little bit. I mean, you're going to enjoy every little bit. You won't regret it, I promise. However, I do feel like you do need some time for yourself in order for you to recharge so you can continue to do it. Because I do feel like you're going to be doing this ongoing. So it's going to be an ongoing thing that you're going to be doing, not just for May, but I feel like for the upcoming months. But in order for you to survive it on a long-term level, because even when you have fun, I do believe that you still can get burnt out. So remember to take the time to feed yourself, feed your soul, and take you that you time that you need for yourself. I do also feel like you also are very busy on purpose because you like to keep your mind off of emotional things that you don't want to deal with on an emotional level. Perhaps you don't have a partner. Maybe you're single or maybe I'm feeling like this pile you're single because you I feel like there's a lot of people around you and there's really no time to think about other partners and you're just busy having fun which is amazing most people need to do that because everybody's so worried about wanting to have a partner however you are craving that partner and a lot of times you wonder like where are you going wrong why can't you find this if you have all these friends why can't you have that partner I'm gonna really worry about that too much right now I feel like if a partner came into your life right now it would actually interfere in your plans because you need somebody on your level and that does take time however I don't I'm not saying it's not gonna happen I just I'm just saying that just allow the universe to give you that and I feel like it is gonna happen within the next one or two years and it's actually gonna happen within your journey and it's gonna happen unexpectedly so when it comes down to love don't dread on it too much right now enjoy everything that you're going through right now because you have so many beautiful things coming in and your friends are feeding your soul and you're gonna be having new friends too so expect that there's never going to be a dull moment. Just continue opening your heart and your mind. And eventually that person is going to come in. Um, however, because you travel a lot, it might be a little difficult. So keep yourself up to date on social media with your adventures. And I do see a lot of animals in the picture. I do feel like you're going to be connecting a lot to nature more than you ever have in, an, in a while. I do feel like you're going to be in a huge space of land so possibly maybe like a farm or something there's gonna be a lot of animals and a lot of open space in this area so enjoy enjoy this is a beautiful card I feel like your life is really really active and really fulfilling at this moment I feel the energy and I envy you because most people want that too <laughs> so that will conclude your reading enjoy the upcoming months especially in may because i feel like that's when you're going to be most active with meeting new people and events enjoy it love you stay tuned and don't forget to press that like button if you enjoyed your reading and comment below if you want to share your experience of your reading and how it relates with you so stay tuned for our next reading for june